So if you want to, and that little box pops up on your screen to let you know. And that's like, in case you wanna watch it back later, this will be on our YouTube channel. And so the last thing you need to know is as we go along, we're going to be posting the lyrics into the chat. Now, depending on your computer, the chat is either at the bottom of your screen or the top of your screen. And that's where we'll be posting the lyrics. Now, I am going to hand you over to Judy Spencer and she is going to take it from here. Wow, season's greetings, everyone. Yes, I'm just so excited about today and, and I love getting together when we can for our sing-alongs. We have been having the sing-along almost every single month for quite a while. And because the WPC uh, conference is set back until 2023, starting next year, we are going to meet every other month. So just FYI, so that you know that we will not meet in January, we will meet in February. And I'll say this twice, February, we are blessed again to have Jerome from Ireland leading us in February for a lovely Valentine's sing-along. Last year, he was with us for March for St. Patty's. Oh, let Jerome so, wave hi one more um, time while he's on screen. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you will notice other things happening for the WPC starting next year. We're going to have a song contest coming up for the conference, um, a music spot as we've had before if you would like to take part. There's so many things that are happening music-wise. Drumming, yippee, we love that. All happening before we all get together in... Barcelona in July of 2023. With that said, I just want us to now get into the holiday spirit, no matter what, uh, where you are, um, how you celebrate, what faith. It's just wonderful to be together and singing together today and seeing all your smiling, happy holiday faces. I have the privilege and i'm just so excited about our host today i met scott ingles kidder in about uh, almost 10 years ago now when my husband and i were living in london i was at the royal college of music and at that time it was for instrument for percussion marimba and i was missing the opportunity to sing with a choir and i found this choral workshop that was very near to where we were living. And so I registered for it, walked about a mile from where we were living across the bridge into Battersea, into this beautiful church we can see right behind me. Here's, this is a, a painting of the church that I brought home with us, uh, St. Mary's Church of Battersea, and had the most amazing day of singing with others in this choral workshop with Scott. I was immediately in love with him and for many reasons. And I've kept that up through, through um, COVID. He has led a few of his choral workshops online, which has allowed me to take part again. And I asked him if he would be interested in leading this session in an English style, because once he talks, you're going to hear his English voice. And he was honored. His aunt has Parkinson's, so it is very close to his heart. But I was learning more about Scott and found out that he was raised playing the Scottish bagpipes. We love the Scottish bagpipes. He was also told that he couldn't sing and which I thought was really interesting. And then he had a very inspirational music teacher that helped him along. He ended up in Cambridge with the King's Choir and it has just kept growing and growing and blooming from there. And now he has a beautiful platinum consort, which hopefully we will put up 
the website, it, it is a group that you definitely need to listen to. But I'm thrilled that you're here, Scott. I feel like we're here together. We're in the same room and I'm so excited about today. Thank you so much and happy holidays to you. Thank you so much, Judy, for that lovely welcome. You've actually taken all of the words out of my mouth, I think. <laughs> um, I'm not sure there's anything left to say, um, but um, that is so, so lovely to be here and happy holidays to everyone as well. Um, I just wonder whether um, you would like to hear just a small snippet of my professional choir, Platinum Consort, um, just to give you Please. a flavour of the sort of music that we normally sing. So um, if you would um, be okay with that, I'm going to play um, an excerpt from our album which is called In the Dark, and it's actually all Lenten music, so very much the opposite of caroling. Um, but it's a beautiful piece, this one, by an English composer uh, from the early Baroque period called Henry Purcell. And this is called Hear My Prayer. I hope you enjoy just a few moments of it. Hope you enjoyed that it's a rather soothing piece of music oh i can see people clapping that's very kind thank you so much i'm so blessed to be able to run my professional choir full time uh, which is quite unusual actually especially in the uk uh, usually um, us musicians have to have lots of other jobs on the side um, so i am very blessed to be able to do that full time um, and I also run uh, Platinum Choristers, uh, little boys, who we train to sing um, in the cathedral way. So I just thought I'd show a little image of them. There they are. And they were singing in Southwark Cathedral on that occasion. Just get it to focus on you. There you go. So they look very, um, very lovely in their red gowns. So that's just a little bit about, about me um, to, to get you uh, into what I do. Um, and of course, I love singing as well. And I love um, getting people to sing and use their most natural instrument, their voice. You're on mute, Judy. <laughs> There. I thought I pressed it and I didn't press it. Before we start singing and doing the warm-ups, just so you can see who's here, I thought if you all have 
your signage, if you can place it up here on the screen, and we need to get into gallery view again. It's a wonderful shot to see where everyone's from. And Kathleen, you might be able to read some of them as we go along to see where people are from. Wonderful. I see Pam Reeve from the Northwest Parkinson's Foundation. Pam, so glad you're here. Oh, I am sorry. I couldn't unmute myself and take the picture at the same time, but it's... <laughs> Great to see everybody here. That is fabulous. Okay, so let's move on. And with Scott, we're going to go through some warm up exercise, breathing, and get into a few holiday songs and a beautiful carol. And that's why we're here. So let's get our voices up and coming. Wonderful. Shall I start with my uh, breathing exercise then, Judy? Yes, please. Wonderful. Okay, everyone. So we're going to do a really gentle breathing exercise, which is, is meant to relax us, but it also is excellent for allowing the voice to really settle. So I'd like you to put your hands on your tummies and just give them a little poke, give them a little squeeze. And we're going to try to breathe as low into our tummies as possible through the nose like this. So you can see Rudolph getting bigger because I'm breathing really low in my tummy and I'm really avoiding lifting my shoulders or getting tense. I want to stay really relaxed. And then once we've breathed in, we're going to make the sound of a hissing kettle. So just a kettle that is on its way to boiling like this. It's a very gentle sound, but we've got to try to, to not break the sound and keep it really, really long. So we're going to try for 10 beats. So it'll be breathing in for three beats and then hissing for 10 beats. So try it with me. Ready? In, two, three, and hiss. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. If you manage that, perhaps you could try 15 beats now. So we're going to really keep that going a little bit longer. So make sure you take a really big breath. Ready? Breathe in, two, three, and hiss. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good. Now for the real keen beans amongst you. Let's see if we can keep that going to 20 beats for the last bit of this exercise now. So a deep breath. And here's a little extra tip for you. If you um, squeeze your tummy really gently, Inward, so pull in those muscles that will help to guide the air out of your lungs. So in for three and out for 20. Are we ready? Here we go. In, two, three, and hiss. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <gasps> Wow, well done. I hope nobody got too dizzy doing that one. Brilliant. So over to you, Judy. Okay, I'm just, I was trying to look at everyone that was here, which is so exciting. <laughs> I would like, if possible, for people to raise their hands that sang in choirs growing up. Because this is a true choral experience that we have today. Oh my gosh, and so many hands. I don't know if you can see them all, Judy, but it has to be at least like 15, 16 of you. That is wonderful. That is fabulous. And because of that, that puts a huge, huge smile on our face, which we want to hold on to today. And I don't think we'll be able to take it off for a very long time because it is just so exciting to have all these songs that we're singing. The next thing that we go to is a holiday tongue twister. And if, Kathleen, you can get that up in the chat. We always have to have a holiday tongue twister. And this is a very interesting one, isn't it, Scott? It really is. Um, I find tongue twisters quite hard, but I suppose that's what we're supposed to do, isn't it? We're actually meant to find them quite tricky. Um, and they're really useful because they 
help us to um, get the, the teeth, the tongue and the lips really in order. That in itself is a, is a tongue twister. But today's tongue twister is holiday themed and it's Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Now it's up to you whether you want to mimic my English accent or not. Uh, you can do it in your own voice, of course. So let's try it together nice and slowly. Yes, Judy. Thank you. Just for those of you that are not familiar, if you go to the chat box and just click on it, Kathleen has placed the words in the chat box so you can follow along with that. So just catch that on. It should be the last message, most recent message that's in the chat box. That's really good. Yeah. And I'll take it, I'll say it again really slowly and hopefully you can, you can keep it in, in there. It's Harry hung Holly. Just repeat those three words. Harry hung Holly. And then on the wreath, try, on the wreath for the holidays. You try, for the holidays. That's it. Now let's try it all together. Harry hung Holly on the wreath for the holidays. And let's try it, keeping it going. And we're going to have a little beat going as well. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Now, part of the tongue twister is to really make sure all of those consonants, like the H's in particular, are really present so that we can understand all of the words when we get to our carols later. So really spit out those consonants for me. Ready? And off we go. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. And if you're feeling a little bit um, keen, we can go a bit faster. Ready and off we go. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the one more time. Harry hung holly on the wreath for the holidays. There we go. Well done, everyone. That's not too difficult, actually. Well done. So let's go right into the vocal exercises. And then before we start the um, holiday songs, we'll, we have to sing a live awake alert. But let's do the exercises first. Brilliant. So just a little bit more on breathing from me. So put your hands back down on your tummy. If we breathe well and we get our core muscles really involved in our singing, we'll be able to sing clearer and louder. And that has got to be good a good thing, hasn't it, to make our voice really clear. So we're going to use the two letters F for Freddie and T for Terence. F -t like that, and we're going to smack them together. F -t, f -t, f -t. And do you see what happens with my belly? It comes in because all of my muscles contract. Let's try that together. F -t, f -t, f -t, f -t, f -t. And don't worry if it's a nice gentle movement, that's fine. F -t, f -t, f -t, f -t, f -t, Good. Hopefully you can sense a little bit of movement here in all of these muscles, okay? Another one which is really good to get the diaphragm going is panting. Hands up if anybody has a little dog at home, or a big dog for that matter. Yeah, you know what they do, they like to pant. So it's really good for us to pant as well as singers because it activates the diaphragm. So it doesn't matter what speed you can pant at, but the idea is that the air has to go in and out of your mouth. So I'll demonstrate. <laughs> like that. You can do it much slower than me if you like. Let's try together. Very good. And you can pant on all the different singing vowels. So that was ah, wasn't it? Let's try panting on air. And ah. And ooh. And e. Whew, very good. You might need a few seconds just to recover from that one because it does get a little bit tricky. Well done, everyone. Hopefully you can all hear my piano. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear it? Yeah, brilliant, good. We're going to do a really simple vocal exercise using the Z sound. So just say that for me, Z, 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 good. And it goes like this, Z, 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 Z. So that's for lower voices amongst us, and the higher voices would sing 
So let's try it together. And z z z z z z z. We're going to climb up, getting higher. Z z z z z z z. Keep going. And z z z z z z z. Z z z z z z z. Z z z z z z z. Z z z z z z. Good, now it's starting to get a little bit high, isn't it? And we do need some high notes today for our carols. So a little word about posture. Some people might find it difficult to sit up straight, so don't worry if that's you and you need to slouch a little bit, that's absolutely fine. But if you are able to sit right against the back of your chair or um, to sit straight on your stool or even stand if you're standing, then that's really good. Why? Because it helps us to unfold all, all of our upper body, the lungs, the throat, make sure the windpipe is really clear. If we are slouching like this, it's really hard to get the voice in action. But as I say, don't worry if you're unable to do that. It's absolutely fine. We're going to go a bit higher now, same exercise. Ready? And off we go. Z, 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 Z. Good, your voices are now nicely awake, but I know that we've got our special song from Judy coming up now, so let's do that. <laughs> it is a very special song, and I invite you to sing along with us, Scott. So, Alive, Awake, Alert, we have been singing this at every sing-along, and I always include it in my workshops because we are alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic, okay? And it's really fun to look at each other as we're singing this. And I'm looking at faces right now. I see Beth. Beth, I'm glad you made it on. And I also see my sister. Woohoo! Happy holidays. Are we ready to sing? I'm. There's our starting note. Let's sing nice and loud. I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. I'm alive, awake, alert, alert, awake, alive, woohoo! Alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Now I'm going to do fast, so those of you that know it, let's go. I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic, woo! I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic, yahoo! I'm alive, awake, alert, alert, awake, alive, woohoo! Alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. We are ready to sing holiday songs. Oh, wow, that was so impressive, Judy. I could barely <laughs> keep up. I think, I think I'll have to practice that one in my own time. That was really impressive, everyone. Well done. So we're going to look at our first song of the day or the evening or the afternoon. It's the evening here for me in London. Um, and it's Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly, which I'm sure is really, really well known as a holiday song. And it's got that typically English fa la 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 la, which comes out of the madrigal um, themes from the Renaissance. So it's a very English theme, this one. So I'm, I would like to just practice the fa la 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 because the tongue has to move really quickly. So repeat after me. We'll just speak it rather than sing for now. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Me again. Fa la 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 la. You. Fa la 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 la. And that comes after every single line, as I'm sure you can tell from your lyrics. So, in case some of you don't know this song, I'll just give you a little flavour of it before we start singing together. It goes like this. Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Fa la la la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Don we now our gay apparel, fa la la, fa la 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 la. 
draw the ancient yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Is that familiar to most of you? And if it isn't, hopefully that gave you a little bit of um, an input. Yes, Judy. Thank you. I just want to remind everyone that the words again are in the chat box. If you have not printed them out, um, I have noticed with English uh, lyrics, they might be slightly different. I don't think this one is. I know the next song is, but this, mm. you might want to just pull them up and have it up on your screen. I've got it in my left-hand corner here on my screen. So we've got the lyrics with us. I also must add, I didn't say this when we started with Scott. He started as, is it a contra tenor? Yes, my trained there. voice is a high yes. male alto, so I'm singing in my untrained voice today. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so I use falsetto normally, so ah, usually really, really high. Those of you who know the group Chanticleer, which is a, a US all-male group, um, I'm sure you're all big fans of them. They have male sopranos and male altos on the top. It's a bit sexist, to be honest, <laughs> between you and me. But... Um, they all of those men sing high so my train voice is a high um male alto voice so i'm using my natural baritone voice today <laughs> and good good idea about the lyrics if you're still not able to find the lyrics or see them at least you can join in with a fa la 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 each time because that's nice and easy isn't it so shall we give it a whirl i'm going to do a little introduction in between each verse we get three verses deck the halls with boughs of holly Number two is see the blazing yule before us. And number three is fast away the old year passes. So I think we should get going and enjoy singing this all together. Are we ready? Thumbs up if we are. Fantastic. Yes, it's great to see a sea of thumbs on the screen. So here's your introduction. Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Is the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Don we now our gay apparel, fa la la, fa la 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 la. To roll the ancient yuletide carol, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. See the blazing yule before us, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Follow me in merry measure, fa la la, fa la 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 la. While I tell of yuletide treasure, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Fast away the old year passes, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Hail the new Lads and lasses, fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together, fa la la fa la 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 la. Needless of the wind and weather, fa la 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 la. Well done, everyone! Fantastic, fantastic singing. That was excellent. We've really got everything moving now. And now, I, under, I think, isn't the next one singing about what I have on top of my head? I think it is, Judy, which is <laughs> such an impressive headwear. <laughs> Thank it's you amazing. so much. <laughs> it's quite a bit of uh, a wonderful Christmas and holiday attire. Um, I'm sporting my reindeer jumper and I'm just looking through the pages at, at all your wonderful faces and I see some lovely Christmas jumpers around about the place and if not Christmas jumpers, some nice festive red colours and green colours. Oh, and Beth's got a wonderful uh, Christmas tree there with a little face on it. That is so cute. Wonderful. It's nice to get into this spirit, isn't it? Yes, so the next song we're going to sing is Oh Christmas Tree, um, otherwise known as O Tannenbaum. Of course, not strictly English, but here in England, despite Brexit, we're all very pro-European. <laughs> so we're going to sing um, about the Christmas tree. This is the one that Judy said, and rightly so. Slightly different lyrics to the ones you might be used to hearing. There are so many different versions, I just had to choose one of them. Um, but hopefully relatively straightforward. So why don't we hear the melody first of all, and just get that into our heads. Thank you. 
hope that rings bells for people and sounds fairly familiar. I think we should try verse one together. In fact, we'll just go ahead and, and try the song straight away because I'm sure by the end, if you don't know it, you will have picked it up. So, O oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches is verse one. O oh Christmas tree of all the trees most lovely, verse two. And then the final verse, O oh Christmas tree, we learn from all your beauty. So a little introduction uh, so we can settle each verse in. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Not only green in summer's heat, but also winter snow and sleet. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, of all the trees most lovely. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, of all the trees most lovely. Each year to bring to us delight with brightly shining Christmas light. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, of all the trees most lovely. done everyone that was really really nice that was beautiful in fact and I think throughout that I could hear just the odd strain of um, somebody unmuting which was just delightful actually it was really nice to hear that going along well done everyone I was thinking what might be fun Scott right now is just to sing the first verse a cappella, and Maybe Kathleen can unmute a few voices as we're singing together because it, it's a beautiful song and it's nice and slow so it won't get too far out of sync. That sounds such a wonderful idea and maybe just Kathleen unmute us all and just let's have a little free for all here. So should we go for verse one um, and I'll try to lead and we'll take it just a little bit slower. Okay, so here is your first note. I love that. Our tree might have been more of a Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> well, well done, everyone. Very good. Very impressive. So, um, okay. What? Well, give me one second. Well, right. I'm going. When I hit mute, everyone, um, Scott and Judy, you are going to have to unmute yourselves again. That's okay. all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I lost my mute. Ever. There we go. Beep. All right, everyone. I love you. You're all being muted. Well, I have to say, Judy uh, and Kathleen, 
as far as Zoom singing without uh, muting goes, I thought that was pretty impressive indeed, actually. I did too. It was really it was tuneful. Really tuneful. Wow. Very tuneful. And now I'm hoping you're taking us right into the church with the big church organ. That's right indeed, yes. We've got a little treat now. We're getting very festive um, with a very, very traditional uh, carol called O Come All Ye Faithful. And um, we're using a very special recording of the choir of King's College, Cambridge. And as you heard from Judy's lovely introduction, the choir of King's College, Cambridge is where I learnt to sing and where I was uh, very honoured to gain my degree and my, and my master's in music at Cambridge. So um, it brings back a lot of memories to me hearing the wonderful uh, boys and men and the fantastic organ in the beautiful acoustic of King's College, Cambridge. If you don't know about King's College, Cambridge, I really, um, I ask you to Google it afterwards um, or whichever search engine you use and have a look at how beautiful it is. It's very famous for um, one particular thing called the Festival of Lessons Carols, which is broadcast um, every Christmas Eve on both BBC Radio and BBC Television and I believe is a broadcast across the world as well and it's a really really special thing. Judy, Scott, yes. I have a quick, are the King Singers from there or? That's a really good question. So the King Singers which is a male a cappella group, most of you will have heard of them I, I suppose, um, originally uh, when they were founded about 50 years ago or maybe more um, they they were taken from the, the back row of the King's College Choir so when the men would graduate from Cambridge they would have the chance to become part of the King's Singers. Now like many things that tradition has slightly stopped and I think only two or three of the current King's Singers are actually former members of okay. King's College Choir but they do very much hold a link with them and in fact last year during the height of the pandemic the King's Singers joined the choristers of King's College Cambridge when the poor choral scholars the the members of the university were unable to sing because of Covid restrictions so actually that was a great marriage of those two groups there the King's College Choir and Lovely. King's Singers. So I ask you now to come together in, in great strong voice as we uh, proclaim this wonderful Christmas hymn um, and you'll hear the organ in just a moment giving you an introduction uh, and those of you who know this piece of music and perhaps sing in a choir you might be familiar with the Sing Choirs of Angels Descant which was written by former King's um, conductor David Wilcox, Sir David Wilcox, God rest his soul and it's got this wonderful triumphant descant. So if you know that, please go ahead and enjoy it. Um, but just to get you uh, set, just before we hear the organ, I'll just give you a little snippet just to get you into the zone of what it sounds like. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, refrain here we like to do a crescendo which means starting quietly and getting louder let's try oh come let us adore him a bit louder oh come let us adore and then really loud oh come let us adore him Christ the Lord and that's how it goes so three verses the next one will be God of God and then you do the refrain again, O come let us adore him. And then as I said before, verse three, the final verse, nice and loud, sing choirs of angels. So thumbs up everybody, are you ready to enjoy this wonderful traditional carol? Fantastic, yes, me too. So let's the organ of King's College Cambridge take it away, here we go.
Wow, everyone. I could just see the joy on your faces there. That was absolutely wonderful. And I even heard strains of the sing choirs of angels descant coming in and out as well. Well done, you choral people who obviously know what they're doing there. Really, really stunning and really fun to do that. Brilliant, everyone. Well done. It was brilliant. And I turned my volume way up so that organ was just shaking the walls that was so <sighs> again earlier I said I'd cry and yes it's just beautiful Scott thank you so much for being here with us today it, and... it was my absolute pleasure Judy thank you so much for inviting me and it's it's been a great pleasure to share this hour with you all and see all your wonderful smiling faces um, and see you singing so enthusiastically. Great, great way to end my day. Thank you so it's, much. It's a great way, and it's a great way to begin my day. And also, we're in the, the early time of the holiday season, even though Han Hanukkah continues, and um, we, we light each other's faces, and with Christmas coming, and uh, other traditions that we have throughout this season, I was thinking, we did not practice this. We didn't even talk about this, Scott. But since we have a little bit of extra time, we have an opportunity to sing together, again, unmuted. And we could sing, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Together, yeah, we could. Unmuted. Yeah, very happy. would be lovely. And we do that before we have our sharing time, if we could. I don't know if you have the music for it or we just sing a cappella. I could play know. it for you. I could Yay! very happy to play it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how it'll fare in the in the mix, but we can try. Okay, so everyone unmute. Everyone unmute, and we're going to have this hodgepodge <laughs> choir. <laughs> so listen out for the introduction, everyone. Belt it Here's out. the intro. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. Good. What's the next verse? Anyone know? We won't go till we get some, so I'm right here. We <laughs> okay, I really want to know what figgy pudding is. Yeah. Is that in English? <laughs> yeah. Figgy pudding must be English. I know we grew up with the Christmas fruitcake. I think I that was think more Scottish. Not. Yeah, figgy English? pudding, I think, is like our traditional English pudding, which you, you light the top of with alcohol. Yeah. Oh, I think it, that must be... Uh -huh. Fire. Yeah. yeah. That's very interesting. Well, I think we all need to really thank Scott for this lovely, lovely hour. And thank with you us, so much. It was just a blessing. And I look forward to watching this again. And 
before um, we go into our uh, sharing time, I want to make sure I get this right for Jerome. We have Jerome and Pat Sheehan in February. She, the musical director of the Perpetual Motion Cork Parkinson's Choir, will all be with us February, February, I think that's February 9th. We will be getting together um, probably similar time since it is again in that same time zone, which will work out really well. So we have that and thank you so much. Now, our sharing time. This is the season of giving. So what would we like to give to the global Parkinson's community as well as to all of the world? And if you can, both um, Kathleen and I are gonna do our best to write this down. And if you can just say what you would like or I'll put up my chat box and you can write it into the chat box as well. So I can see that. What would we like to get? Good health. Good health, okay. Strength. Say that one more time, please. Strength. Strength. Nothing was as hard as last time's mountain ranges. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Joy, Peace. I see joy. Peace. A cure for Parkinson's. Yes. Sure. Yes, for sure. Cure for Parkinson's. Music. Music. Compassion. Yeah. My family. Family. Confidence. Confidence. We're in Gentleness. Gentleness. Kindness. Kindness. Patience. 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 Positive. Be One positive. more time. Be positive. Be positive. Okay. Be positive. Yes. Hope. Okay. Hope. Laughter. More songs. More songs. More songs. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> we could just keep singing for a couple hours for sure. <laughs> just song after song after song. Yes. Gotta show up. Sharing. Sharing. Togetherness. Togetherness. Kathleen, are you getting all these? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think we need to be um, thanks for the World Parkinson's Coalition, for sure. Grateful. It is an amazing organization. You know, we wouldn't be anything without you guys. So thank you so yeah. much for showing thank you, up. Judy. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you. A lot of gratitude to go around. Yes, gratitude. And I'm sending a very special thank you to Scott. Okay, Kathleen, would you like, to, can you read them out? And yes. let us all put our left hand up to the screen so that we're holding each other. I see you, Ruth, I'm saying hi to you too, I'm looking at all the screen. And with our right hand, we're holding, it's heavy says we have so much that we are giving to one another and to the world today. So if you could read those out, Kathleen. You got it. So we have good health, strength, joy, peace, a cure for Parkinson's, music, compassion, family, confidence, kindness, patience, being positive, hope, more songs, showing up, caring, togetherness, and gratitude. Beautiful. So on the count of three, let's give this to one another and to the world. One, two, three. 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 Wow. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you all. Judy.
Thank you all for being okay. here today. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you all in February, Great February story. 9th with Ireland. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy belated Hanukkah, everybody. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Scott. Happy Hanukkah. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, happy New Year. Happy New Year ahead. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>